What's up, regulars? Today I'm going to show you how to replace the uh, windshield washer pump on your Porsche Cayenne. And actually, I went to the junkyard and got one from a Volkswagen Touareg. So, if anybody's interested, I cannot find a good video on how to do this. So, I thought I'd make my own. So, the first thing you're going to do is hold up your suspension button until you get this icon right here. That way you could jack up your vehicle because you're going to have to take the tire off. Also, I don't think you have to take your headlight out to do this job. You probably don't, but I took my headlight out. As you can see right now, I'm grabbing the tool out of the trunk to take it out. Go ahead, pop off this cover, and then down inside there, you'll see a little bolt that you put that tool on, and then you turn it clockwise or counterclockwise depending on where it says on the piece of plastic as you can see I'll point at it in a second you're just going to turn it and your headlight's going to pop and slide right out Now, as you can see, I had a friendly little rodent in my engine bay, and he decided that he was really hungry and wanted to eat my washer fluid reservoir. So I went ahead and got started by removing all the plastic pieces around where the washer filler cap is. You can see I'm removing the screw right now that's on the washer filler cap. The Volkswagen Touareg filler cap that I got does not have this screw. I'll also explain that a little bit later in the video. And as you can see right now, my vehicle's jacked up and I'm gonna remove my tire. This is also a really good time when you have your tire off to inspect your brakes, your control arm bushings, when you're gonna have the fender well out. You can check your drains and everything, uh, your intercoolers, if your car's a turbo like mine. Just a lot of stuff, you know, keep your eyes peeled take a look these cars are starting to get you know they're 15 years old with hundreds and thousands of miles it's always a good idea to check for any problems you might have All right, so let's get started. Well, all you have to do to get the inner fender out is remove about 10,000 screws. As you can see, I'm pointing out all 10,000 of them for you. Maybe there's 15,000, I can't really remember. Uh, they're all T25 Torx, and then there is two 10 millimeter nuts. The nuts are kind of like plastic, as you can see right here, right here. And then that's all you need to take the inner fender out. That and a lot of patience. For the sake of time for the video, I removed all the screws, and as you can see, now I'm removing the fender. And now, as you can witness, I'm checking some stuff in the wheel well. Right now, I'm looking at the intercooler pipes, the uh, intercooler tie rod ends, looking at my drains right now. Ten millimeter bolts that hold the washer bottle on there. And then there's this little harness right here and a rubber hose. You can see right here, there's a little thing you push on it, it disconnects. And then there's two hoses on this pump right here that go on your uh, washer sprayers on your hood. You're gonna have to disconnect those. And now I'm disconnecting the, the bolt. Yeah, those bolts disconnected go ahead and unclip these little um, hoses for the washer nozzles as you can see they just pull right out they're a little tight you know they probably have never been removed and 
then you can lower down the bottle even more. Connected that rubber hose and the harness right here, but as you can see, I'm about to pull the washer neck out of the uh, washer bottle. And then you're free. And I'm pulling out the washer neck. For me, I just gave it a good tug. How badly chewed up it was. I couldn't even pour water down there if I wanted to. Alright, and now I'm installing my Volkswagen Toreg washer reservoir. And everything is the reverse of how it came out. I start off with uh, plugging in those two little hoses. And now I'm popping it up. And I'm going to bolt them in right now. It's a uh, super ratchet right there. Flip the harness and then pl uh, clip it into its little bracket. And now you can fight this inner fender and get it back in there. I tell you what, this thing was a royal pain. But I got it. Your end fender on. Don't forget to connect your filler neck to your washer bottle, and then put on all your plastics. I also like to clean my plastics whenever I'm doing anything with it. You know, this is a beautiful engine bay on these cars, and it deserves to have a little bit of clean to it. But yeah, guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Hopefully you found this video useful. Like I said before, I did not find any good video on how to do this. Although I don't think it's a very popular job to do in this car. I don't see why the bottle would usually go out unless, you know, you're in an accident where you have a friendly rat. Also, stay tuned. The next video I will be doing is going to be valve cover gaskets on the car as my car needs them very bad. Also, here's a pretty bad video I took, but this is the receipt from the junkyard for the Volkswagen Touareg washer bottle I got. It was $11.53. The part from Porsche, I believe is $85, and that's without the pump and all the little hoses that go with it. Take a hose, fill it up. I live in the desert where it's always 100 degrees out, so I don't have to worry about this freezing. You know what? That is probably the only time I will ever use those. But I don't have a light no more. <laughs>